How did you get into birds? Um, I've always been interested with flight of any sort, um, mechanical, natural, whichever. Um, the birds have just, as of late, been all I can uh, think about. It's just the perfect illustration to me of free freedom, free from all the things that tie people down daily. Say something about this piece behind you. This is the businessman. Um, it was it was uh, highlighting the the not necessarily the the occupation because of who is performing the work. You know, it's just a, a nameless, faceless occupation, like a doctor or an, an actor or a in this case a businessman. There's no there's no personality to it. There's no focus on popularity or or who it is or how renowned they are. It's just the job, highlighting the job, the occupation, for what it is, not for who it, the person is. Tell me about the mortuary maps. Well, it, we came across, it was a box of various circuses, um, linens and cloth, cotton and denim and uh, in it were these, these rolls of this white, what I thought was carbon paper. And I, in speaking with the person that you know, I got them from, it, I come to find out that they were used as the mats that absorb the formalin, formaldehyde, and other bodily fluids in, in, a, in a morgue. Also, to boot, I found that they were used. So um, it was quite interesting to, to use those as a surface to paint on. Who inspires you? Anything and everything. And I mean, what I mean by that is uh, being able to do what you love, keep a sense of freedom to what you do, and to how you go about doing what you do. Uh, futuristically driven artworks are inspiring to me. Not in a sense of mechanics and you know, machines, but along the lines of futures movement. What's in your future? College, art. I, I plan to major in, in art, in studio art, and to pursue it as far as I can. Um, I've had more fun with it in the past year than I have since I started painting, so I hope to continue this into the future with whatever comes, comes along with it.